It's been a while since I got a premium platoon from the big box. My last big box premium was the T29. But somehow I got the BTR today and well it will be time to check out this platoon and it will be time to see how the vehicles perform and of course I will start with the BTR itself. Now when I saw this thing for the first time I thought to myself well this is a very big very big vehicle. It has no armor, it has a 30mm auto cannon, it is very fast but the the way the the wheeled vehicles work is weird. I'm not a fan of the wheeled vehicle uh, movement control. You will see what I'm talking about. It has a PDS though, and it can penetrate up to 86 millimeters of armor. So it should be more than enough uh, to be used in tier six. Uh, but overall, this is a premium vehicle and I think it's one of the more interesting uh, interesting vehicles uh, available at the moment. It, it's fast, uh, surprisingly fast, and a very good flanking vehicle. It can also swim, uh, so that's one uh, thing that I have to add. Unfortunately, it does not have a 8GM attached on top of it, so you are stuck with the one and only auto cannon which has 150 bullets per belt and you have two belts of full ammo so uh, let's see how this thing will work now uh, as i mentioned before this is a vehicle that's not really designed to go uh, in direct combat with tanks it is a vehicle that should be used with flanking maneuvers and I see this vehicle perform really well in the realistic battles and in simulation battles but this auto cannon does uh, does do damage this is APDS by the way a APDS 30mm APDS so not a very big bullet but more than enough to punch through lightly armored vehicles so you will be killing ATGM death boxes quite easily and you will be killing the lightly armored vehicles, lightly armored medium tanks, light tanks and stuff like that. Now the reverse speed is very sad on this tank, it's usable but it, it's sad, 12 km per hour. And this is a very big box, this is a bus, I mean, this, this is huge, I mean, this is longer than a panther by the way. So this is a very big target, very big target with very little armor isn't really uh, not something that I am a big fan of since no armor and a big tank usually means you know weasel type experience but as you can see it can penetrate and does damage does break modules on, on the tank quite easily uh, but for most vehicles you will have to go and basically flank since you are not going to be able to penetrate a lot of tanks from the front so when I sell it you will not be able to penetrate most of the tanks from the front very few vehicles have a very thin armor but let me demonstrate the amphibic performance of this thing and yeah uh, it doesn't really handle that well in the water. Not really sure if that's just the controls being bugged, but you must not stop moving and the vehicle likes to go up and down for some reason. All on its own. So, yeah. And this little vehicle is now a submarine. Isn't that just lovely? Oh look, a light tank. And... Can I penetrate the light tank? Yes, I can. It does go through the light tank like... Like nothing. That's a Tiger 2. That's not good. I have to go in cover. Controlling this thing in the water is quite the challenge, honestly. Doesn't really respond well uh, in the water. So I would suggest that you don't try to swim with this if you don't have to. 
the turret is basically unmanned, so the turret is not going to be taking all of the damage when it's being hit. The crew members are safe. So, and uh, a little fun fact about the BTR, it's actually still used to this day. In a, it's it's seeing combat basically, so that's a very interesting vehicle. It's one of the older vehicles still in service. Well, my machine gun got wrecked, but that's the only thing that the enemy will be able to shoot at. The crew is safe, and as you can see, the maneuverability of this vehicle not good. Well, I mean not good. It, it's decent. It's fast, but but I am not a a big fan of the controls for the wheeled vehicles. If you want to turn, you will have to wait. If you want to turn, you will have to wait. And the, the, the way this thing turns is so painful. It's also huge, so the, the size is not really helping. The size is not really helping this vehicle. And of course the armor is also not helping it, since it has basically no armor, so... Mm, yeah, good luck with it. And this is just... Oh, look at my controls and look what the tank is doing. You might be wondering, what is this tank doing? And I am actually asking myself the same. But the tank is completely out of control in, at this moment. I move left, the tank moves right. I move right, the tank moves right. I move left, the tank goes right. So no matter what I do, no matter where I turn, the tank refuses to go where I want to go. And the worst thing is, the tank also somehow, for some reason, wants to drown, even though it's amphibic supposedly. And I don't have a lot of bullets in my... Oh my, that's, oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's definitely not good. A Death Star. I also love how direct hits in the ammo. And this thing did not die. You cannot make that up. Just You cannot make that up. Just look at... This thing is getting torn to shreds. And the ammo is not being detonated. And also, my tank wants to drown itself. So that's not helping. Yeah, this tank is full submarine mode apparently what is this thing even trying to do? I have no idea is, is this thing like look, just look at that and whoop, at one second it, it exits you cannot make this up it did not behave like this before so I don't know finally I'm on, on land there we go, that took a year to kill the Death Star or the, the Crack Barn or, you know, the Doom Barn has a lot of different nicknames. And this is a very bad position to be at. This thing can't really lower the gun that, that much. What is this Panzer trying to do? Trying to kill me? Okay, that went better than expected. So yeah, this, this thing can't really lower the gun that much. If I was in the water now, I would be able to... ...to kill that thing, but apparently not. I got hit by a missile, but my artillery killed the... ...Arate, and... ...well, I was surprisingly a victory. No idea. Absolutely no clue what was happening there at the very end of th of the of the that was a good match and honestly th this thing can get kills so you you can get kills with the btr it's surprisingly a playable vehicle it's not like the weasel and the weasel is definitely weird and i think the weasel does have doesn't have a pds but i have to double check that or maybe the weasel does have a pds but for some reason the weasel doesn't really feel like the BTR when it comes to when it comes to performance. This, this thing is definitely going to love flanking positions like these where you can 
position yourself in such a way that... Oh look, a BTR. A enemy BTR, that's going to be fun. The auto cannon is definitely really good. It has a very good rate of fire. And it does penetrate quite a bit for a 30mm auto cannon, so... Not going to complain too much about it since it does get the job done. And the BTR has been destroyed by the BTR. Of course, one hit from any high explosive weapon, and this tank is history. Any caliber high explosive that hits this thing is going to kill it. And yes, you can't penetrate the frontal armor of a of a panther. Yeah, you're not going to be able to penetrate a panther from the front. If the panther does show the side armor, I will be able to penetrate, so maybe the side armor or the side dirt. It can go in both ways, basically. But the APDS ammo is very good for this job, so not we... Really. I mean, if the panther does show me the side, the panther is dead, so that's... And they did. And there we go. Rip. Rest in peace, turret crew. That definitely was painful. Unfortunately, the spalling isn't enough to detonate the ammo. So I do have to go to the side armor and... Well, shoot the side armor on the panther. Just like this. There we go. Karu is torn to shreds. And I am running out of ammo. The thing with this, the, the, the thing with BTR, the um, ammo is not, usually not enough for longer periods of use. And look at that, this is what I'm talking about, so look how long it takes for this thing to turn around and I got hit in the back. That's not good, That's, I have to go forward. And let's put off the flames. So yeah, this thing's turn radius is huge, and I don't like that. If there is one thing I don't like about this vehicle, it's the way it turns. It turns like a brick. Even though it's fast, yeah, you are not going to be able to rotate this thing that much. It just does not respond to inputs at all, and that's the worst aspect of the BTR. When you need speed, well, I mean, you can go fast, but... But... Uh, rotating that thing, good luck with that. And I got a aircraft kill there, surprisingly, somehow. And that was a failure. Could've killed the M4 there, but obviously I didn't. I missed it. Let's see if I manage to get some flanking shots f on some more tanks. Okay, a Sherman. Well, one shell penetrated, but that's about it. No other shell wants to go in after that one. Yeah, it does not want to penetrate at all. That panther got torn to shreds, but it was still moving. Yep, that's not going to kill it, obviously. For some reason, just refuses to kill it. A SU-12254, that's a dangerous tank. And this is the moment where I actually forgot that my tank is paper. Let me just destroy the gun on the 54, there we go. And the machine gun also. There we go. But that's about as much damage as I'm going to be able to do on it because I'm unable to penetrate the frontal armor of the 12254. Its armor is just way too tough. And I am officially out of ammo. 
does run out of ammo very quickly though, so that's one thing to keep in mind. And let's move since artillery is... Artillery is being dropped on me, that's not good. Well, I mean this match is already lost, not much I can do about that. This is not a vehicle that will allow you to carry a lot. I actually wanted to go to A, but there is like five tanks there and I have no ammo, so yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh well, I'll just drive around. Uh, enemy is capturing A, enemy is going to capture B in a second. Absolutely nothing that I can do about that. Maybe if I was in a different tank, I would be able to do more kills, but... I mean, if I was in the T-29, I would definitely have like 10 kills by now. But I was in the BTR, so not much I can do about that. But a uh, nice little example of this vehicle's top speed. It's fast. You can hit 100 km per hour in some cases, so... Speed is definitely not a problem that you'll be facing. Maneuverability though, yeah, that sucks. And this thing can also drift. It can drift left and right very easily. So I'm trying to be very gentle with it. I don't want to slide into a tree or something. That would be funny. But yeah, that was an epic fail. Nothing I could do about that to prevent it. And well, that's the... Well, not a bad score though. Not a bad score, I'll take it. I was able to do some damage at least. And let's go and play one more round with the BTR. Now the BTR does love maps that are open. Uh, the BTR does love maps where you can flank. And this map is a excellent example of a very interesting map where you can go and flank the, the enemy tanks. Now, show you a very interesting little position where you can uh, go to. I also love how this thing goes into amphibic mode the second it touches water. Even though it's not in the water. Well, technically not swimming, but it goes into the amphibic mode the second it goes into the water. And this is a little position that is good for the for this thing. Let me just remove some obstacles real quick. There we go. This is a very nice little flanking position right here you have a nice little rock to the left and you have a nice open field right in front of you where you can flank enemy tanks that are rushing in and there's the first tank a t29 pancake rip the pancake got amorect that was it was a very that was nasty actually the rate of fire on this thing is really good. This is a old cannon that I can use in in mid to high tier because it just works really well. The ammo allows me to to use it the the way I want to use it, and this position is so good. Any tank that just tries to rush, they will be torn to shreds by this thing. And this is basically how you should play the BTR. It is a flanking vehicle. Obviously not a sniper, by any means far away from a sniper. But let's see what happens to that tank that tries to go forward. And... yep, ouch. That was... that thing got torn to shreds. Well, it's still alive, but it took some damage there. What do we have there? A T-54? That's right, show me the side armor. And T-54 shredded. Ouch. That was painful. Next. Oh, nope. Let's not, let's not show ourselves to a Tiger 2. Have to know, if something is looking at you, just fall back and just let the team handle it. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to penetrate the Tiger 2 from the front, even in third. So I have to wait for the team to do to deal with that, and then maybe I'll be able to do some more damage. Oh, 
Well, tiger moving. And side armor. Side armor. Shred it. The tiger too got shredded from the side. You can penetrate the tiger from the side very easily. 86 millimeters of penetration is all that you need with with the VTR. I could go capture C, but we have already seen the maneuverability of this thing and how quickly it can get top speed, so I would not gamble with my non-existent luck. And I'll just wait for targets to show up. Oh look, a bomber. Now you can shoot bombers and, and fighters with this thing quite easily. It works. I mean, it's kind of designed to do that. So it can easily do that job as well. Now we have a tank over there, not really sure what it is. But maybe, oh, a Yak Tiger. Oh, the Yak Tiger got... Well, apparently did not do much damage, okay. Although they did get flanked and they did get shot in the side, but... Apparently that wasn't enough to kill it. Where is the Yak Tiger? I feel like they are coming for me. They're, they they have to be coming for me. That's... Yep, told you. What did I tell you? The Yak Tiger is coming for me. Well, let's wait and let's see if my teammate there will do something about it. If the Tiger does shoot, I will move. I will move. Okay, time to move. They are reloading. Let me try to get behind the, the tiger, but first let's eliminate the tracks, there we go. And now, let me go and... Let me go and pay the tiger a visit from the back or from the sides, depends. If there's a hole, there's a way, as they say. So let me... Hello there. And there we go. Tiger has been wrecked. So where should I go next? Well, let me go back to my old position. And let me see if I can get some more kills. Four kills with this, I'll take it. <coughs> Not going to complain about the four kills I made with the BTR. I usually suck with vehicles like this, but the BTR apparently is different. <coughs> The BTR is apparently different. And I kinda like this vehicle. It does work surprisingly surprisingly well. And this is where the maneuverability of this thing does kick in or should I say the lack of it if you want to move away from something really quickly and if you have to turn good luck with that it ain't happening and also let me try to kill the, the bomber here or I guess not okay then well guess not and there's a bomb there there's a bomb there I killed the bomber but yeah, too late. That's what happens when this vehicle does not want to turn. It just doesn't turn and you die. That's just what happens. Oh well, I mean, the match is already lost. Not much I can do about that. Oh look, another bomber. Let me see if I can shoot it down. I'm not too sure if my shells are connecting with the bomber. Maybe yes, maybe not. Probably not. Nope. I am not. Actually, I did hit a couple times, I guess. Yeah, it, it does hit, but it doesn't kill. That's kind of funny. Kills a tank, but it, it doesn't kill a bomber. Oh well. That was the BTR. Honestly, a fun little vehicle. I like it. And, well, uh, I'll be driving it I guess 
uh, more. Well, then, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.